In this video, we are talking about how to create XML sitemaps for your WordPress website using Yoast SEO plugin. Now, what is this XML sitemap? How you can create that by Yoast SEO plugin and how you can submit that in Google Search Console so that Google can read your WordPress website more effectively. We will cover all that in this video. My name is Ankit and you are watching Magazine 3 YouTube channel. So let's begin. So in our previous video, we have seen how we can install Yoast SEO plugin and how we can configure that on our WordPress website. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link in the i button above and I'll also add a link in the description below. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and watch that first. So now we are going to check how we can use Yoast SEO to create XML sitemaps. So for that, we again go back to Yoast SEO tab here. And then we will go to second option that is features. And if we scroll down, we have an option here, XML sitemaps, which is on by default. So it means the Yoast SEO is already creating the XML sitemap for us. So let's see how we can access that. So we go to this question mark icon. And once you click on that, you see we have an option for see the XML sitemap. So let's open that in a new tab. So here is the XML sitemap that Yoast SEO plugin has created for us. And we have XML files for post pages and categories on our WordPress website. So all of your blog posts will go under posts and all the website static pages will go under pages and same all the categories will go under category sitemap, which is an XML file. So if we open any of these XML file, we can see that we have the home URL and the latest blog post that we have added here. So this is how our XML sitemap is being generated by Yoast SEO plugin. So now the next task is to submit this XML sitemap in Google Search Console so that it's easy for Google to read our websites and all the available links on the website in an easy way. So for that, we just go ahead and copy the name here, the sitemap underscore index dot xml and then we will log in to our google search console so once you are in the google search console you will see an option called sitemaps here on the left menu and once you click on that it will land up on the sitemap page and here we have an option to enter the sitemap so here you will see your website url after that you just need to paste in the file name in our case it's sitemap underscore index dot xml and that will be same for any sitemap which is created by yoast seo plugin so once we add that file here all we need to do is just click on submit and our sitemap will be submitted in google search console and google will start reading all the links available in this sitemap xml file now as you can see that we already have the sitemap added here and as you can see that it already discovered 35 urls and google will keep on visiting that xml file and keep reading the newly added pages or any updated or modified pages on your website so that's how an xml sitemap will Will help Google to read all the links in your WordPress website more effectively. So this is how you can use Yoast SEO plugin to create XML sitemaps for your WordPress website. So if you want to learn more about Yoast SEO, then make sure you watch our other videos about Yoast SEO here. And if you want to learn more about WordPress in general, then make sure you subscribe to Magazine 3 YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss our next video. And I'll see you in the next one.